Hey YouTube man, it's Rico man. Hey, this is a battle of Kanto, you know, that old Ouija Wars thing. Anyway, versus Amber 4. I do sleep powder on his own star. And he's got a long berry, which sucks. But all he does is see utilize it to stealth rock. So I put it back to sleep. And afterwards I decided to do substitutes. See, Venomoth is like my Yu Yu Balloon, but he does toxic spice. He's got flavor like that. This dude switches to Clefable, which I really hate. I hate them, but at least this one doesn't do cosmic power. So, it was kind of okay. I do toxic spikes, you know. He breaks my sub with Ice Beam. But I love toxic spikes so much, so I felt a bit risky, so I just laid my second layer so I could be absolutely safe to frig up the rest of his team with spikes. Then I switched to Snorlax, who takes ice beams well with that thick, fat, fat bastard Snorlax. This guy does Calm Mind, which is way more preferable to me than Toxic Orb and Cosmic Power. So I try to get some power hacks on him, doing some body slams, and it seems that his defense has been pushed to max or close to it, because that didn't fucking hurt. Alright, now this guy is fighting a losing battle, because ain't nothing he can really do to Snorlax, no matter how much calm mind he get, well he's going to get paralyzed eventually. But as for me, I've already exposed one of my OUs, which is kind of not a good situation. He's only showing me UUs. But, and we all can use two UUs, two OUs, two BLs in this region wars battle, just so you know. Okay, so he switched back to Omastar. Now I'm kind of pissed, because I know Omastars, they probably do rapid spin, and that's probably what he wants to do. But since I cursed on entry, I didn't really want to screw that up and waste that. So as he's sleeping, I decided to curse some more. Even if he rapid spins, I'm pretty good to go and sweep in a team. But when he wakes up, he does knock off, so that's no problem. It makes me even feel good. He switches to Gengar right when I decide to do Body Slam, so that sucked and I could swear he was going to hypnotize me, that would have been good for him, so then he could have raped me with all his Focus Blasts all he wanted, but he decided just to Focus Blast, and that was really bad for him, because he just ended up, he should have known he would have died after doing that. Then comes the Tauros, I have two, three curses, I don't know now, but pretty sure I could take a return from him, and I do, and I totally obliterate him with Body Slam. Now comes the Jinx, which he should have brought in the first place, cause it's got lovely kiss, it puts me to sleep, so I guess he was just underestimating Snorlax special defense with that old Gengar stunt. Then he does some, um, Toxic is really wearing down on him. And when I wake up, I want to do rest, which I do kind of early. Snorlax tends to wake up early for some reason. I don't know. So, he's kind of pissed that I have my health back. He comes in with Doug Trio, which normally with all my defense raising would have been a problem, like a fail attempt in, on his part. But, this is where I get frig. He gets a critical hit that frigs the crap out of my Snorlax. The fat bastard got frigged up by three Winkies, is what I like to call Doug Trio. So I bring out my Scarf Pinsir, and based on the Pokemon I've seen, Close Combat does pretty good damage to all of them, considering Gengar's already fainted. So yeah, and Doug Trio can't take any kind of it. And then he brings out Jinx, Close Combat, that the hell. And then he brings Omastar, which takes the close combat, and with all three of my defense drops, that ice beam, I didn't have no chance of living it. Yes, and as I expected, I died pretty easily from the ice beam, so I gotta think of a way to kill this Omastar, now that I've been hacked out of my main attackers. I come in with... Rocco, and to be honest, I didn't know whether I could outspeed it or not, but based off of knockoff, 
I think it was a wall-like Pokemon, so no even speed, so I guess I have higher base speed, so yeah, Earthquake, that to death. And now, there I go. I know I can't take much ice beams, but what else do I have to kill this? All my physical attacks are gone. And he does Calm Mind, so I Earthquake, and luckily for me, I finally get some hacks. I get a critical hit. But then on the same turn, he freaking, he freaking gets a freeze on me, and I'm like, what the hell? Okay, so it's me with my Gengar, and if no more hacks happens in general in this match, he can just outstall me and set up all his Calm Minds and destroy the rest of my team. And I'm thinking on how the match was going, and I was pretty much going to 6-0 this guy with Snorlax, but thanks to hacks, I got put out of that. But, God was with me in the end of this game. Uh, sludge Bomb, Critical Hit, killed him, and Ding Dong, Clefable's dead. Good game, guy. Not really. Laters, peoples.